Hello friends, today we're making a delicious, comforting and healing chicken soup, Caribbean style. We're trying to use up all the ground provisions we have left before they go bad or start growing. I'll also be using corn, pumpkin and green seasoning, which I froze as part of my pandemic prepping. I've already cut, washed and prepped a whole chicken, so I'll move on to the vegetables. This is usually the most difficult part of the recipe, so be patient, it's really worth it in the end.
We'll start cooking as soon as this green seasoning is defrosted. It's a fairly nice day, a little windy, but not too cold, so we'll take the cooking outdoors. First, I'm going to stew the chicken in the normal stew-in fashion by adding the brown sugar to the pot and allowing it to froth, expand and darken. This will not only add color, it will also add flavor. We'll also add some edos, also known as yautia, and green fig. I had no idea he got some at the supermarket recently. If you're not comfortable with the sugar browning process, you can certainly eliminate it and just brown the chicken in hot oil and then add the vegetables. It won't be the same or as good, but it's certainly workable. I'm using a four pound whole chicken that I cut up. You can also use back or thighs or wings or chicken feet. Let me know below what other soup recipe you'd like me to share with you. How's she going? She alright, you know. She stay inside. Yeah. She has she has food and everything. They have everything, yeah. Okay, because there's a number you could text if you don't have food. What number? I'll tell you later. I'm making soup. Um, mm -hmm. I could put in the vegetables with the meat as soon as I stew it and brown it. Yeah, but make sure um, that's what I'm going out though. Oh, okay. All right, so you already you already um, provision for us with the meat too, but when they have water gone out, and then you have to water again. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put it in now. All right, call it back. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. bye.
If you're using tough pieces of meat like beef or short ribs, oxtail, or maybe even goat meat or pigtail, you'll have to allow it to cook until it's tender before adding the vegetables or the ground provisions because it will disappear. Does the ratio of meat to veggies look in balance, meaning that there's more meat than veggies? We'll add more edos. Now I'll add the green seasoning that's been defrosting. You could have seasoned the chicken with the green seasoning, but I think it gets a dirty color when it's stewed if you have a lot of green seasoning in it. So I add it at this point. Next, I'll add the chopped onion, the mashed garlic, and half of the celery and green onions, reserving the other half to finish off the dish. Next, I'll add salt and freshly ground black pepper. At this point, I decided to add a half a pound of peeled and diced pumpkin. As I said before, this is one of the veggies I prepped at the beginning of the pandemic. I made six of these half pound bags. They really do come in handy when I'm making soup or stews. This pot is a great conductor of heat. As you can see, the vegetables are already tender and cooked. I'm going to add the hot water and I'll make the dumplings quickly and then cook it for 10 to 15 minutes. And we should be done.
You can shape the dumplings as thick or as thin as you like or into any shape. Burning. Now we'll only cook it for 10 to 15 minutes more or until the dumplings are cooked. Give it a taste and add more salt or pepper if required. Now we'll finish it off with the reserved chopped celery and scallions and the chopped pimento as well. Got potatoes, sweet potatoes, green bananas, okra, chicken, corn and dumplings, and carrots.
And that's it, my friends, a delicious pot of chicken soup cooked my way, the cooking with Ria way, using the freshest of ingredients. It's guaranteed to soothe, comfort, and heal your pandemic-weary soul. Thank you so much for spending time again with us today. Do let me know below what's your favorite soup or soup ingredients. I'd love to hear from you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.